YouTube, what is good? We're back. Happy Tuesday. We have a great batch of orders to start off the week. Starting off at the top, bunch of one lows, bunch of one highs. Got to speak about, of course, the Travis Scotts. Just got those in. They're going out that quick. Pine Green 1.0s, that's one we don't see too often. We got a Black Cement used going out. Like to see it because we have quite a few size 10 Black Cements used. And uh, that pair sold for a great price. Speaking of great price, we got the Bread Force next to a Black Cat next to a Military 4. A lot of good shoes right there. We got two nice. 99 cent auctions always have to shout out the people who actually go forth and pay we got a concord that finished at about 60 bucks and we got a unc low that finished at 25 bucks so it is what it is shouts to those people for making those purchases we got a pair of terror squad loyalty air force ones great shoe if you ask me personally i have to shout out milano from california for making that purchase he dm'd us made us a fair offer greatly appreciate the support there we got an adapt bb happy to see those go because look how big the boxes that's crazy two pairs of kobe's one being a very very clean reverse grinch size 14 check the apps for size 14 definitely goes for the high and then we got a gold kobe going out we have to shout out joshua for the purchase and all the support supposedly he watches the videos and he supports us and obviously we appreciate everyone who supports us so shouts to joshua on that purchase lakers 13 space jam some nine some sixes some beat paul george's beat kobe's couple dunks some use some new air max 90 infrared shouts to everyone who watched the day one got sold video that i dropped on sunday is doing really well and in that video i folded on a pair of those for five dollars i went up to 165 he wanted 170 well he came down to 170 and i'm watching the video i'm like damn i should have bought those even though we have a nine in stock and what's funny is in dc i literally found a size 9 ds for 165 which is the price i wanted to pay so just funny how that works but i probably still should have bought the pair because i don't know i love those obviously air max 97s we got the cosmic clay vomeros that's a very comfortable nice shoe that people love all of a sudden tallies brand new two easy slides we go to the shirts some awesome shirts no doubt hardy boys buccaneers stussy two awesome jerseys kenny anderson nets and we got the dawson marlins and then as you can see we got a lot of steelers and a lot of chiefs jerseys which is nice to see i did my first fantasy draft yesterday got first pick which was crazy so uh where'd you go had to go cmc couldn't uh couldn't not do it guys anything about the orders or anything else it's funny he said he said he did his first fantasy this this weekend I did mine too. I had a second pick, toss and turn it between three people. I ended up going with uh Bijan. Oh you said wow. <laughs> I kept thinking about what you said about Tyreek and I was like, you know, I think I'm set on Tyreek after I did a mock draft. I liked the way it ended up. And then Nick hit me up. He was like, is Tyreek injured? I was like, yeah, like his hand. And I started looking more into it. I was just like, ah, oh, nah, like let me just go Bijan. Like that kind of messed me up. But I got Bijan, so can't wait for our finish this week. So that should be really good. Shout out to everyone who purchased something. Said it last week, there's a lot of pairs that we recently just got and recently put up. And it's just crazy to see the amount of support we get because again, like, you know, the amount of shoes we got, the time it took for us to get it up, a lot of it's going out really, really fast. So a lot of you guys are really like sniping on eBay and really watching our eBay consistently. So we really appreciate you guys because again, without you guys, it's not possible. The reverse mochas in this day and age where sneakers are really low, collabs and all that. I think the Travis Scott lows are probably the one shoe that I consistently see holding weight and holding good value. It's definitely a shoe that continues to go up over time. It takes a little bit of time as more pairs drop, but they are very, very good to hold on to, I would say, personally. Black Cement 3s, love that shoe. I know another pair is coming out this year. Next year's lineup is crazy. Talking about next year's lineup, supposedly a Black Cat 4 coming back out again. Kind of crazy to see what's going to happen with those. Is that really going to affect the market? Are people going to want those more? Who knows? But again, it's just pretty interesting to see how quick they're bringing back some of these shoes that they just released. The Terror Squad Air Forces is pretty crazy because Saturday when we opened, someone came in asking for white shoes, and that was one of the shoes that I grabbed. And he wasn't really interested because he said he wasn't into Air Forces. And to see that they sell like that same day, like later on at night, is, is really, really crazy, honestly. Burst Riches and the Gold Medals, two good shoes. Two good shoes not going for much, honestly. But Kobe's are becoming those shoes that I see that is just very accessible now, which is really good to see how low they are. It kind of makes me happy because, again, you know, I was in that time period of wearing Kobe's and everyone's wearing like KD's and LeBron's. Talking about great basketball shoe, that's probably one of the best basketball shoes.
shoes for the new generation. Again, his shoes still do really well. It is shoes that kids um, look after or look for, I should say. Um, so really, really good shoe there. Air Max 90s can never go wrong with that. So shout out to the person who bought that. All the jerseys going out. That Kenny Anderson is so fire. The No Doubt t-shirt is super fire. I didn't know that was uh, Gwen Stefani. Oh, that's it Gwen, is. Yeah. That's Gwen Stefani. Oh, so it's crazy. The Hardy Boys, it was crazy because that was on Saturday. As soon as someone paid, they had just walked in and then like we was getting up to get it. And he's like, I know exactly what that shirt is at. So really, really good t-shirt right there. Hardy Boys, are, you know, that's a classic tee right there. Could never go wrong with that. And Bruin's wearing all clouds, but shout out to the person who bought the Hocus. I know Bruin has those too. So comfy vibes over here. What's up guys? Happy Tuesday. Uh, definitely a great batch going out. The first thing I noticed when I was looking at this batch is it's just a really nice mix of just old classics and new stuff that's come out recently. Obviously up top, we talked about it, but Black Cement 3, Bread 4, Black Hat 4, Military Blue. That's just such an iconic lineup right there. And I did just realize that Black Cement, Bread 4, and Black Hats are some of the hottest releases in consecutive years. The Black Cements came out in 2018, Breads came out in 2019, and then the Blacks, uh, Black Hats in 2020. Those are good times and definitely different times for sure. You know, hopefully get back to something kind of like that, but still nice either way. We got the Pine Greens, the 1.0s. Uh, as I've been going through my own inventory, I've been seeing a lot of the 2.0s, whether it's uh, Core Purples, the Pine Greens, stuff like that and it's the 1.0s of a lot of these Jordan 1s were just much better quality and the color the color blocking is a lot nicer so it's nice to see someone appreciate uh, the 1.0s and a brand new pair of those going out and nice to see the reverse Grinches size 14 uh, going out as well I feel like that's a shoe that a lot of people hit us up about and shoot us some low balls on eBay and there's always a, a buyer at the end of the day whether it comes uh, right away or, or you know a week or two but those move fast and uh, you know definitely a shoe that, that people like a lot you know it gets a lot of attention regardless so nice to see a pair of those going out and then of course Vomeros I haven't hopped in the Vomero train yet but apparently they're very comfortable I might have to eventually but uh you know I feel like here and there we do sell one it's definitely a hot shoe right now so that's uh that's where the hype is the um adapts I'm glad to see those go out because ever since Nike stopped the line um I, I would assume that people would stop buying them or keep hunting for them so I'm, I'm glad that we can sell one of those out especially the fact that A mentioned earlier that the box is huge so that's going to be fun uh, packaging that Black Cat 4s seems that no sneaker is safe next year so a lot of heat coming along with the black hat fours I just got word that the black uh bugs bunny eights and taxi 12s are coming back as well so everyone next year gotta start saving now could cop all the heat for next year speaking about heat we have a humongous size of the bread fours right next to a black cement three surprised that we still have a couple of sizes of the black cement threes just sitting on the shelves because a couple years ago that those were definitely like one of our hottest or flat the door do have a couple more size 10 so if you guys are looking for a black cement 3 in a size 10 lightly used check out our ebay shout out to the kid who copped the kobe's i think we grabbed those or different size at got sold recently but that's a classic kobe as well love the gold olympic accents and then shout out to everyone else who's been buying off the ebay love coming to tuesdays and seeing a big batch that means we could clear some space on the racks and the shelves and of course love seeing all the football jerseys go out shout out to all y'all for the support greatly appreciate let's see what happens today you too what's going on it's currently 11 44 ups just delivered two of my packages it's been a while since i've done an unboxing but here we are got some shoes that i still got to flick up from saturday so shout out to everyone who came the past week and past weekend really appreciate all the shoes buys the selling the trading everything from the nine appreciate all of you out there also appreciate everyone who's been watching the got soul vids mines and a's i think day two should be dropping sometime today and honestly in my opinion i think day two was way better just because of how i thought about it the in-store stuff will be back soon almost done with that stuff as well so we're catching up on drafts catching up on ebay listings and we're catching up on content yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying what we're doing over here at tsk but with that being said let's get into some unboxings two of these are definitely for the upcoming fall winter season definitely one of them is but let's see what the first one is and boom as you guys can see you guys probably already know what this shoe is based on how the box looks like it is the nigel bike air jordan 4 got the stickers right here i don't know what it is right now but i think i like i'm on a black sneaker high yeah jordan just said <laughs> jordan just said welcome to the club you guys see the next couple weeks me copying on black sneakers you guys know why I definitely have to grab these definitely a top five sneaker of the year so far for 
for me at least. Love the quality, kind of looks smaller than, these are size eight guys, they're not any that are smaller than that, but, and I think what really got to me was the red Nike check, the bikey air, and just overall how it's a different model. Oh, also the tongue is really awesome too. But the quality, overall craftsmanship is really awesome on these, so shout out to Nigel on this one. This one is a model that I've shown on the show before. Funny, because I think Jay was the one who said it that like, I've kind of been digging into like archives and them stuff because all this stuff nowadays is just getting boring or just too played out. Not these though, not these, these are, these are different. But anyways, another Nike ACG. I, like I said earlier, I did show this model on the show before and it is the Nike ACG Tory Mid Boot. Grabbed the color of these not too long ago. I actually wore them a couple of times in the summertime just because I love the model, love the colorway, but I had to grab these because they're pretty much dirt cheap right now. If you guys are looking for a great fall, winter sneaker, mid or boot, these are definitely a great choice. The quality, they are actually waterproof. I tested them a couple of times. I believe they're on Nike for like around 60 bucks. They might even be sitting at outlets. And I just love that Nike is bringing back classics like Nike ACG, Torres, Agassiz are dropped this Saturday or this Friday so I'm definitely gonna grab a pair of those I believe prices are terrible right now still debating if I want to grab them on release day or if I should just wait I've been wanting that sneaker since I've heard that the re-retro was coming back out and the fact that the US Open has been going on for the past couple weeks so see a unboxing on those it'll probably be from me or a and with that being said 11 50 10 minutes to open catch you guys in the next clip and again you tell me what you can take what you can't take no for sure for sure we'll work something out no of course I like take the old Air Forces or no, probably Let me okay. see. Like the camo ones. They they just don't go for much. I can see. If you like if you want them for like cheap like 10 20 credit. Yeah, like, you can throw them. Yeah. Right, so I'll, I'll check them out. Let me grab you the um the other material. Thanks. That's the material. So these are cooked. If you, like if you don't want these, I'm just going to run these into the ground. Okay. What are you asking? This, uh, nope, not Steve Yellow. I think that's just like generic Texas, generic Michigan. Okay, what are you asking? Do you remember what you gave me for like the Boise State one that, that I traded in like a couple weeks ago? I have to go back and check. Honestly, I do not. Yeah, because like if it was a low, I was thinking like five or ten credit wise more because like Michigan and Texas like bigger brands. Okay, Joe Yes, this guy? Probably like 40 or 50 credit. So these are cool. They're cool. Like, I wore those into their ground. What are you asking of these guys? It's weird because like I see them sometimes. Like this was like a grail sneaker for me when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And then I got them again like a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So like I can kind of let them go for cheap. I know a nine and a half, it's a hard size. Like there was one on Goat for like 155 brand new mm -hmm. without the lid, but I would take like 40 or 50 okay. for these. These, 80 to 100 from what I've seen on eBay credit wise. Oh, at least I'm on. Yeah, I just. I don't know why. I was, I was yeah. so confused for a second. Those I hit on. Like, nice. and I never hit on anything. So, I like them, but I don't know. Like, they're cool. The, but bo the box is cool. I yeah, I think like, the box, I think it's cooler than like the actual shoe. Okay. But they're brand new. So, on these, what were you thinking? I know. I want to get to as close as retail as possible credit wise maybe a little bit more i know when i on the draw on the on my Manier website they were 225 okay. retail but on nike like today they were 250. Hmm. it was weird because i got them for 225 from the raffle but they were selling them on like the sneakers app today for 250. i know on stock x i think they're like 230 okay for that this size but I guess anywhere between two and 250. Cause my plan was to like do all of the jerseys and like the stuff without the box uh -huh. for the what the, and then yeah. like put cash on top of that. And then this and cash for one of the Kobe's if we can work something out. Uh, let, me, let me start off here. Cause this is the latest sneaker. Yeah. 
Let's go shoe by shoe. Which is the more important shoe that you're really trying to get? I'm trying to get one of the Kobe's. So one of the Kobe's? One of the I don't, I like both of them. I just yeah. don't know, like, I fit in both sizes. So like, Try them on, see which one feels better. So we have, like, so I have an idea of, like, what shoe you're really trying to get. Um, we just go from there. Um, I'll check out the rest of this stuff. Let's see what it's going for. They both, they both fit, like, they both fit? really yeah. good. So, like, I'm just gonna, whichever one, like, We'll decide at the end, to be honest, because they're like around the same price, or okay. kinda. Okay. Let me see. Would you say you went for the the LeBron Soldiers? Between 80 and 100 credit. I know that might be a little high. It's just I think they're in really good shape. I mean, they are, but like I've just seen the pair go for 20. Yeah. So if we can, if you want to go lower. They're just low, like. I know, it's weird. It's like people ask for a lot, but they don't actually go for a lot. They got see pairs up for 40, 60, 85. What would you do for them? Like 10. And you just, just what I'm seeing online, they're just not going for anything. Yeah. That's the only thing. I know. Would you do 20? Um, Credit wise? I see we have a, we have a use. What the two? I don't know if you're interested in that. Isn't this the used one? That's a new one. Oh, I can get the used one. Yeah, because the used one's cheap, way cheaper. Yeah, that's, that's what I, that's all I was saying. That. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. I didn't know you had a new one. Fine. Yeah, that one's pretty clean. Let me grab the other. Go check that out. Yeah, because these were the ones I was looking at. Because I know they were cheaper. Those go around like 30 or 40. What do you want for these? Between, um, if I can get as close to 40 as possible. I'll probably do like 15 on those too. Can you do 15 on the LeBrons and 20 on these, credit wise? Uh, yeah, I think the LeBrons already pegged in at, at that price. What do you want for these guys? Again, like between 20 and 40. I was kind of at like three for everything. Three for everything? Yeah, so it was like two here and a hundred for the rest. Okay. Um, let me know. Cause you think I was th cause like my plant thinking was, was like a hundred for everything besides this. Okay. And then pay the difference. So 50. 50 on top of this. And then, uh -huh. what you say, two for these? Yeah. And then, what would be the lowest you can do on either of these? Well, which one do you want? Um, I gotta see what the prices are at. I think the, this one's cheaper. I what? think the, the nine and a half is cheaper. So nine and a half is at 350. Uh, 10 is at four. Yeah. Uh, let me know. You so you want the you want the nine and a half? I'll, yeah, I'll do the nine and a half. Um, okay. So we had that for three fifty. So one fifty would be old. One fifty would be out. In total. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's basically, I dropped the. I so there's one fifty here. Yeah. It was. Uh, I dropped them to three. Okay. Um, which is 450. Your stuff was three. Okay. 150 is the difference. That's perfect. That's cool. That's that's cool. Okay. Um, how you like to pay? Cash. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. And then, did you try on the uh, the what? This? Yeah, I know I'm a nine and a half. In, All right. Five. So those those are good. Okay. Out of curiosity, how yeah. much is that Juventus shirt? The white one. It's funny. Someone was looking at it earlier. That's my team. But bro. he took a uh, he took an Inter Milan. Yeah. Let me see. I'm a Juventus guy. So Let me see what we got classic. that up for. Like 50? Okay. Yeah. Check it out. It's like a... That's cool. Yeah, it's that's like, it. it's the vintage training top. Yeah. You want to do this one too? Um... Is 50 the lowest? Can you do like 40? Or is 50 the lowest? I can do 50. Yeah, I feel 40 is fine. 40's good? 40's good. Cool. And then, because while we're at it, your, yeah. this Red Bull jacket for 50. 
and then this one for 45. Can you do one of them for 40? Wait, which one? My four, which one are you looking at? Either um, the red jacket here and then the warm up. You could definitely drop them both. Uh, honestly, I can do 30 on that one. 30 on that and one. And then the other one was the same price. The other one's 50. The other one's 50. I could do like, uh, why don't I just tell you 30, right? I could do yeah. 30 on one and I can do 50. I can do 35 on the other. So like a five dollar difference. Okay, so that would be, so that's 50. 30s 80 and then would that be like 105 in total if you grab both of those yeah uh 105 i believe because i said 35 plus 30 plus 40 is 105 um i believe so that'd be cool i'd run it yeah that, for I, those three yeah yeah i'm cool with that which just put us at 255 i believe so then yeah, so this is for the shoes. This is for the shoes. This is for the training tops. Okay. Yo, yeah, Broen. Yeah. Can you bag up the Kobe's and yeah. the Fox for me, please? Thank you. What's your name, man? Berwin. Berwin? Nick. Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice man. to meet you. Happy birthday. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. That Magneto tee is sick. Dude, it's the only thing I got on the drop, the kick drop. Is that the one you wanted? That's the one I wanted, bro. I tried for all the shoes, yeah. didn't get them. I wanted the Magnetos the most. So I'm like, all right, I'll just be happy if I get the shirt that goes with the yeah, Magnetos. Yeah, yeah. Let me get the, just let me get the Magneto shirt. <laughs> I get that, I'll be happy, and I'll get the shoes at some other point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kit's crazy, man. Like, it's like, once they, like some of their drops, just nobody cares about. And then the right. ones of the Marvel, they like, everyone went nuts for it. Yeah, but bro, that kit drop was crazy. It yeah. was like, people were getting like, the clocks were selling out. It was on Monday, right? It was like a few weeks ago, I think. I think it was like the beginning of August. What's going on, y'all? It's me again. Probably the most you've seen me in a long time. We're here with unboxing and a quick first look. I guess we'll do the unboxing first just to get it out the way. This is from Supreme. So week one of the Supreme drop. One of my favorite artists. I just think <laughs> you want the Supreme sticker? Yeah, this one. Thank you, sir. So yeah, one of my favorite artists um, growing up, he did Cherry Bomb, and he was on Loiter Squad. To see him now thriving with Supreme is really awesome. Had to grab it to support, and I thought it was a really dope design. The Tyler Supreme tee. Damn, if I open this right now, it'll be undies. I guess I gotta see if it fits. This is a size large, so the only reason I went with large it's because I wanted that oversized fit. Back then it used to be XL, sometimes a 2XL to, for me to get that 2 uh, oversized fit. But since you boy lost some weight, an oversized fit for me now is like a large. Realistically, if I just wanted a regular fit, I probably would have gone for a medium. But I guess I have to find out if this fits. So I'm gonna, gonna have to open it. Here we are. <laughs> At least you guys get a closer look as well. But, ooh. This is actually perfect. This is actually perfect. It'll probably it'll probably shrink the more I wash it, but damn, this graphic is clean. Shout out to Tyler for the one time. And the box logo he's wearing. That shit is hard too. So oversized, I can throw it over this one. Oh, this is, this is more than I could ask for. It's not too big. It's actually perfect. And then like I said, it'll probably shrink in the wash too, but sheesh, this is sick. Alright, I'm keeping this for sure. That's all I needed to know. Shout out to Supreme, shout out to Tyler. I wanted to go for the black one, but that sold out immediately. Then I thought about getting white. These days I stain my clothes pretty easily too, so. Next best thing was gray, which is like a middle ground. And I feel like gray Supreme tees are like neutral color to get other than black and white. So it's like black, white, gray, and then whatever color you else can think of. But glad I hit this for retail. Definitely gonna be wearing this in the fall, winter, whatever. But here we got a dope shoe. The label is Women's Air Jordan 3. Uh, retro black future Neuer size 11 women's nine and a half men so I guess they're still going with the women sizing on this shoe but boom I already like the box the box is sick if you guys can't don't know already what this shoe is it's the newest AMA 3 in the black colorway I wish we had a white AMA 3 to uh, compare it I think we might have one next door I don't even know if we still have one here you guys go quick little close-up 
boom on the back got the nike air now do i like this one more than the white one just because of the mood i'm in right now 75 percent these 25 percent the white the white ones though when those hit, first hit the market those were going for some numbers and i'm pretty sure in the past um we've talked about how many times i folded on that sneaker when it first came out yeah the black ama 3 just recently came out packaging is really dope velvet curtains or whatever you want to call them got the silver ama too i feel like the packaging is always a little extra than it needs to be but as a consumer that's great got the ydm sticker right there so if your box don't come with it it's foo-foo pretty much it as far as the box goes also this box is like opening like a like a christmas gift on uh, our opening to the gates of heaven like future berwin cue the heaven music oh that, that was probably very anticlimactic but anyways the shoe itself the quality is great the overall craftsmanship of the shoe is great i feel like i've been using that shoe a lot but best way to describe the quality of the sneaker we also have burgundy hits on the bottom you guys want to call that burgundy maroon got burgundy hits on the eyelet still comes with that burgundy nike hang tag as well as a ama manier tag you guys can see that yeah overall the shoe is really dope um also forgot to mention it comes with two extra laces got your cream personal favorite and then i think these are like a light burgundy or whatever you guys want to call it i think it's like the color of the tongue so whatever the color of the tongue you guys are seeing right now are the color of the extra laces um retail was 250 which is like a little hefty but i mean for the packaging and the quality of the sneaker not really complaining and the fact that it's also a collab but overall i really like this shoe me personally and not into the ama stuff as much anymore um but if i was i would definitely try to grab these for like having the white ones and the black ones is low-key a flex don't know anyone out there that would wear white and black at the same time but hey teach your zone i also feel like the cream laces not just because i'm being biased but definitely hit on these i um, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing let us know in the comments if you're able to grab these for retail if you're looking for them or if you want to buy this pair which will probably be gone by the time this comes out but nonetheless as always thanks for watching sorry again if the if this week's content and last week's content is kind of slow but we're here and we're killing it catch you on the next clip and don't forget to subscribe we ever put this on into i guess practice mode we're gonna try one time to score a touchdown real quick with uh brady we're gonna roll out pump uh. give me one yes sir all right jordan was uh on camera most of the day a lot of work getting done drafts still got to work on content shouts to everyone who watched the last video on sunday it's got a lot of views a lot of support so we greatly appreciate it i know berwin got another great video that's coming out tomorrow so that's going to be awesome uh we bought a bunch of shoes as you can see over there i guess jordan can talk about some of them if he'd like as well as obviously the uh counter is filled with shoes so maybe you could check some of those out i believe these are james worthy 740s a packer shoes exclusive funny story about this shoe i vividly remember seeing them in marshall's they didn't oh, go man. for anything and now they kind of go for something depending on who sells them um, here we got the miami dolphin lebron 10 if you guys were into shoes for a while you know how crazy lebron 10s were as well as lebron 9s lebron 7s um shouts to lebron of course here we got a 2001 pair of bread ones that was at the warehouse and i'm like why the hell are these at the warehouse super super clean as well i mean these literally look like can you can you, can you zoom in on the tread I mean, come on, that's insane. Now these are numbered. This pair right here is number 23719 out of 38,345 and it is a size eight. So if you're out there, beautiful condition on these. I mean, these look like they should just be in a case or be worn. My favorite part about the O1s is look at that Nike air on the tongue. It just looks so different. Uh, the font, everything about this shoe is awesome. Got some foams, some slides, some vapor maxes, two pairs of reimagines, shack gnosis, foam runners, which it's funny how foam runners just don't sell at all for us. Honestly, like the slides sell. I was thinking about this last night, foam runners, like they don't sell at all anymore. It's literally hilarious to me. They always looked funny to me, but they used to sell for us. I feel like they were very popular, especially the red pair. Used to sell like crazy. Now no one could care less about those things. And that's funny. Oh, say what you just said about draft, your uh, fantasy draft. What about it? The player who was just on So Romeo. Romeo Adunze, is that his name? Oh, he's not, his name isn't Romeo? Mm -mm. 
His name's Rome. He has a custom signature glizzy at uh, <laughs> Bears Stadium. So I said to Jordan, I said, hey, I have a draft tonight. Speaking of tonight, shouts to everyone who joined the online Top Shelf Kicks Fantasy League. We got 12 people in there. Everyone's paid up, so I don't have to worry about people being there on time or whatnot because it is what it is. You guys paid. So winner's going to get $1,200 store credit unless they want to split with whoever they make it to the championship with. It's going to be random. Order by Yahoo, and it's going to be a fun year, hopefully. I'm hoping to get, like, third pick. I do want Tyree Kill in one league. Or I want the 12th or 11th pick because I think Derrick Henry is going to have a year this year. And I feel like if you grab Derrick Henry and who are some other wide receivers that I was looking at around that time? Garrett Wilson. I don't know if I would do that. There's some guys. There's some guys. But if you get, you know, if you guys know, you get the 11th or 12th pick, you can get two primetime players. And I think Derrick Henry is one of them running back. Shouts to whoever drafted Saquon Barkley third in my league last night. That was surprising and it messed everything up for a good way for at least me because no one was expecting that obviously Saquon great player first time he's going to be on a good team so he could go crazy but statistically it's tough to draft him third but it's going to be a very fun fantasy year we're all so sad that Berwin didn't join but uh, we were going to try to force him but I felt bad so we, we didn't uh, force him and thankfully we got 12 people who are going to be in here or next door on Thursday 7 o'clock we're going to have glizzies on deck no I'm just kidding we'll have maybe some pizza uh, maybe some pizza a couple beverages non-alcoholic maybe some alcoholic I don't know but it's gonna be fun 12 people drafting in person always fun we haven't did that since two years ago so it's exciting and I hope everyone gets here on time and is ready to draft and all that good stuff I bet three yeah, it might have been three, actually. Was last year the, or two years ago? Was that the storm? Oh, yeah, there was a storm one year. Yeah, so it might have been three. It did It did sound like it was a long, long time ago. And again, it's it's very difficult to get 12 people together without money. But to get 12 people <laughs> together with $100 each, like, that's even more difficult. But again, we have the board. It's going to be a fun time, and I'm hoping uh, we have a good time. Other than that, I know Berman got a lot of content to work on. I have a lot of content to work on. We're definitely making a crazy run with the Got Soul videos, the in-store videos, Senior Con Washington videos, and what other videos videos we can fit in between i think we definitely have to increase some of our social media content but that's a story for a different day jordan anything for the people before i switch this one and done like ace said um aside from shoes super super excited for a fantasy draft it's like the best time during the year around here because like we all love football literally a and i we're not talking about shoes or whatever we're talking about football honestly we're talking about sign talking about bets and i don't know i feel like this is gonna be a really great season did one fantasy the other day i said earlier i mean i, I like my team i drafted b John, second pick. I think he has a lot of uh, high upside. Um, he kind of reminds me when it comes to fantasy, like Chris McCaffrey. He can catch the ball at the backfield. He can run really well. I'm looking towards this fantasy league and even regardless of how well I do in our league, I think it's just fun because of the people who are in the league. A lot of good clients are in our league and you know it's always fun to be able to do something like this where you know come together with your clients and customers and stuff like that so shout out to everyone who's doing the in-store but especially shout out to everyone who's doing it online like a said um, you know every year i feel like it's bigger and bigger you guys seem to like really enjoy doing the fancy league and it's like another way to be part of the store even though if you live in like texas or wherever the place may be so really really looking forward to that on thursday all our favorite teams in here are projected to do well i know jake's a packers fan they're supposed to do well yeah he's a uh, eagles fan they're supposed to do well you know I'm a Bears fan. I probably have the worst team in here, but still projected to do somewhat well. So really, really excited for this football season. Like I said, many, many times. Got some good stuff, fan. Lace in a Chameleon 6 right now. Got some Fearless Swans, some Fire Red 4s. Got the new Ama 3s. Not really loving them, but I won't be surprised if those are going by like Friday. This one customer, I felt like if he didn't hit on them, I might cop those. So we gotta wait and see on that. Bought some stuff off camera. The camcorders. I feel like Berwin needs these just to put in his mm -hmm. shelf just because it's right up his alley. A shoe that kind of haunts us. Supreme SBs. My favorite shoe. Jumpman Jacks. All the laces. So some good stuff. There's some more good stuff in there. Size 12. Pure money. Super, super clean. And I said, shout out to you guys. Came in to put all this stuff up on eBay. A lot of people won't appreciate this shoe, but this shoe is super, super fire. We really like this one. Burn bought these. Just sold one of these the other day. And we got another one in was this a 12 yeah around the same size as the last one which is kind of crazy so yeah a lot of good stuff we're getting a lot of variety in which is really really good which is really important because again there's lights on you buy different stuff so yeah shout out to you guys we're out of here catch you guys tomorrow uh catch you guys thursday get in the rhythm here peace
YouTube, what is good? We're back and we have a nice batch of orders to start the day. Starting off, we got the Travis One Low. I feel like we've been selling a lot of Travis One Lows. That's a shoe that obviously might keep going up in value. The Canary is a little lower now. This one, I believe, is a size 14 men, so very hard to find there. Here we got the Nigel Bike Air 4 Driveway Black or Driveway Gray or whatever they're called. Shouts to Ronald for grabbing those as well as a couple other things in this batch. Greatly appreciate the support. Midnight Navy 4 is next to a classic metallic 5. Going along this side, we got some gear. Nice Supreme box logo. I feel like that one definitely dropped in value, but that's okay. We got the Baylor T and this cool Freddy Krueger shirt. Easy 380s, Easy Foam Runners, Easy Slides. We got the Ashad Wear Air Max SB. I think that's a really cool shoe. Um, if you're into skate shoes or Air Maxes or whatever, definitely a cool shoe, cool colorway. Yesterday, I was working on the new side wall, and that was one of the shoes I looked at, and then literally like an hour later, they ended up selling so that's a cool one those are the master golf jordan 12 lows alternate grapes with those teal laces in them and we got a new balance going now Erwin, anything about the orders or anything else first two up top are arguably top 10 sneakers of the year um especially the nigels at least for me those are in my top five right now like that colorway a lot shout out to nigel making that one as well as travis coming out with the canary lows feel like we can never really keep a pair of those in whenever we get them so appreciate everyone who's been buying those up leaked pictures of the metallics for next year have released um, with the white lining as well as white laces so it should be an interesting release next year i already know that i want to cop a pair for myself i do want to see more pictures and i'd like to see the overall shape and see if they are the same as the ones that came out back in the day so that should be an interesting drop next year 12 golf shoes love whenever we can sell golf shoes um, just because how unique they are whoever bought those definitely going to stunt on the golf field with that love the no box stuff we've been getting a lot of no box stuff in recently so love to see the home runners as well as slides and i'm not going to lie the lace swap on the fives is kind of hard kind of like how it kind of goes with the shark teeth at the bottom so shout out to everybody about that love seeing the clothing go out box logos are kind of dead right now as far as prices but if you're still into supreme right now is a great time to buy them up and shout out to everybody about the new balances fortunately comes with not the box but comes with everything else as well the dust bag pretty fire shoe and always comfortable with new balances yes today is a very special day it is the in-store fantasy draft we're gonna do it in store not sure if we're going to film it but we'll at least film the uh getting together of the draft board the food table setup and all that good stuff so that's exciting of course got a lot of stuff to do today let's pack up this stuff and see what happens youtube what's going on happy thursday happy draft day yeah it's been a pretty hectic day so far honestly didn't expect today to start like this but I'm looking at a pile right now that i'm probably gonna have to flick up in a couple minutes after i do this the guys are probably gonna list it while i work on more content but yeah happy thursday hope everyone's having a great day got two unboxings right here one of them jordan knows about the other one he doesn't let's see what we got funny story about this a hit on retail when this piece first came out also at the time i did have a lot of weight i folded big time and i sold it and the grand scheme of things i pay a little up for it in today's economy so i had to get it back and then i found it for a really good price at some point on ebay it didn't go through the authentication process it turned out being fake so shout out to that guy whoever he is luckily I was able to work out a return and got my money back so it all worked out but at that point i was like i need to find one regardless and one ended up popping up again with authenticity guarantee but here we go what did we get guys this is a pretty unique box oh there we go it's a pizza you're gonna look good thanks ebay wow they wrapped it like it's christmas almost there almost there boom we have the cpfm oh and it's gonna fit perfectly this time jersey nike Yep, Jordan just said don't sell it again. I definitely won't, but as you guys can see, authenticity guaranteed. I've said in the past couple weeks, I have been on my different shit recently, trying to find stuff that normal sneaker consumer isn't buying these days. What do we have? We have a red Nike box. Oh yeah, that's something. <laughs> What could be in this red Nike box? Let me open it from this side. No. Good guess though. We, we've talked about it a couple times. All right. This was like more, <laughs> it wasn't weeks ago, it was fucking months. There you go. So the Nike Air Unlimited by David Robinson. Nike Air Unlimited in the emerald 
black colorway. Found these for a decent price, brand new. I remember getting this sneaker in a couple months ago now in the store and been looking for different stuff like this and was able to finally secure one because I had this on my eBay search saved. Shout out to the person who sold it to me. I will thoroughly enjoy these. With that being said, back to the program. You see what's going on. Jersey on deck. I'm running away with the competition or I'm running into an injury. Fancy draft board. Names. Cheat sheets. Shares. Pizza coming soon. Homemade chocolate chip cookies coming soon. Beverages coming soon. It was a crazy day. This phone, bro. I want to punt this thing, honestly. I've been this Ralph. Oh. <laughs> Top shelf. Yo, someone It's Aaron, what's up? Hey, what's up, my homie? I'm, I'm gonna be here in by uh, 6.48. I'm on uh, the take app right now, right here by my job. All right, sounds good, man, no rush. I just wanted to make sure, yeah, because I'm uh, you know, pulling it close, pulling it close. Nah, it's all good, it's all good, man. All right, I'll see you in a minute. we'll see you soon. Shouts to Ralph. Shouts to everyone who entered the league. Shouts to everyone who entered the online league. Obviously nice that we can host a in-store league. Like I've mentioned before, it's tough to get everyone together. Hopefully everyone arrives on time. Hopefully it's a smooth sailing draft. And uh, hopefully we got some good content today. Again, I know I haven't been on camera lately this week, but uh, it's just been a lot of work to do. And I know getting my YouTube videos out seems to be very important for the channel. If you guys enjoy them, uh, it helps out the algorithm. There's a lot of content I'm backed up with. I should be on Washington by now, but I'm still on day two of God's soul so i know i want to get the washington sneaker con videos out as well and yeah as you can see more shoes the walls are packed the shelves are packed that's always nice I'm hoping that uh we could do some back to school shopping in here kids can come in and grab some stuff before the resellers come in and grab it because most likely that's what's going to happen guys we have good prices in here and uh you know the shelf life isn't too long for a lot of this stuff so yeah that's what's going on let's see what else happens before we get out of here wrapping it up here hoping for a great draft shouts to everyone who pulled up today last couple days we'll get some good content friday and saturday jordan jake berwin anything for the people before we get out of here berwin to the nfl draft dun, 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 dun. <laughs> i can't cue too much because of copyright they'll right. be a, they'll yeah, be a sneakers do like, like the pick is in uh, however it goes not super excited for fantasy for like we've been talking about fantasy for like a year it's been about two years since we did it in store last time we did it it was a great turnout definitely definitely um gonna be a good turnout today just with all the people who are in the league this year get some familiar faces along with some new faces but everyone who's in the in-store league probably say are our regular customers or some of our, our regular clientele people who've been shopping with a for a while so you're talking about relationships that stem for like four plus years now which is really really dope so to be able to hold something like this really dope i don't know burn my shoulder yet but we have the board right there we have the table with all the stickers and stuff like that I just got text messages from my group chat saying brandon i you just got 30 mil a yeah. year that's that's huge because of him cd i did my draft the other day and like guys like that who are not paid yet i kind of want to stay away from but you know they're paid now jamar chase is not paid yet so that's one of those people you know if it comes around my turn and he's there it's like uh do i take him do i not so yeah i'm just super super excited for this fantasy draft like i said um i'm really really excited it's the best time of year best way to have people involved with the store and stuff like that i probably said i'm excited like 30 times already i'm excited <laughs> but yeah got some nice shoes going out didn't really talk about stuff that came in earlier because i kind of forgot these came in do say he tried them on treat them as shoes but size 11 and a half i know hey boy these next door six and a half I feel like we get these sbs all the time but first time getting them used some hyper royals um something saving money i've got two oreo fours another one over there uh university blue four some easy knit runners patent bread oh um, there you go yo, yo. <laughs> you gonna win fantasy this year or what i'm winning every year man so with that you already know the answer Everyone, to that man the champ is here do -do 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 -do. <laughs> the champ is here you know, you know. he know uh, he know. Do I know? <laughs> yes. Do I he know? knows. What's up, my guys? Uh, All right. Y'all got know? the Ruckus game on? Yeah. What's up, man? Jacob. Let's this is just till Colorado comes on, but as you can see, participants are here. We here. We think they're going to win, but you know. It's Top shelf fantasy. I never came in third place. You, Every time. It's always your first pick? Place. Who's your first pick? <laughs> Last year? Oh, this, today? this year? Who you looking, year? Who you looking at this year? Damn, you have no, we have no order yet. The order is yeah. not set yet. No yeah. one knows. Just put that out there. We don't know the order. Probably going to go uh, right now, Tyree Kidd. Right now, you just got paid, just letting you know. He just got paid? Yeah. What just what got paid. 30 a year. 49ers? Yeah. Just letting you know, you know what I'm he saying? He should have took the 34th for New England. It's all down. I said the same thing. <laughs> oh, should have yeah. took the 34th for New England. Got another participant. Uh-oh. Damn, I'm fucking tricking. Uh-oh. Hey, yeah. Yeah. We up in here. <laughs> I see 300 of my money in here already. <laughs> just, let's just say that. Let's just, let's just say, I see 300 of my money. I don't know if he just got here. That would have been four right there, but I'm just saying, you know? Uh, I don't know about that. What are you talking about? Man. 100, 200, 300. 
truck taking your money. Uh, here. Probably. I, I win every year. Who, who's, your, who's your top pick you going for don't this year? Don't worry about it. We don't know the order. <laughs> don't worry about it. Ham's going to get like a 10th, 11th, or 12th pick. I know it. Uh, hey, I don't, it don't matter We raffling for the uh, number one pick? Yeah. yeah, but the winner from last year is doing it. Uh, <laughs> 400. Yeah, 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 yeah. 400. Yeah. Super Bowl pick. Yeah. The real yeah. Super Bowl winner in the building. The real yeah. Super Bowl winner in the building. Yes. Uh, What's up, my guy? Jake, that's good. Uh, yeah, first first draft. So uh, I'm obviously the, the odd one out here. I think I'm the only first one here. So we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I'm gonna stay pretty quiet. I'm not gonna be talking all that talk until I got some points on the it's board. Right. But uh, I know how that feels. I know I've been doing my lunchtime research. So, uh, Free money. Free money. I'm probably in a blast. I'm doing yeah. a lot of talking. I'm probably in a blast. <laughs> Free money though. But yeah, I've been doing my research. Uh, I feel like there's a little bit of an advantage going in not knowing a lot because you're kind of like, you're not going to overthink it, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, post draft draw, they're going to be really happy, really sad. So you know we, we will see, but it seems like every, all the, right the personalities here, are showing up. So. It, it, it all sounds good. Y'all see what's going yeah. on. Win or lose. That's bad decisions right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love Man, it. Those are good. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. You want me to hold it? Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be here. So while the guys are working on their team, I'm going to be working out. So. So I'll that's, be at the gym the while these guys are doing the draft. Who knows, maybe I'll be in it next year. Sorry, you guys won't catch me this year. However, I'll make sure to get everyone's reactions and stuff like that throughout the, the um, season, just so you guys are up to date. It's gonna start soon, so I'm gonna do this one and done. Get out of here. 500! Here we go. All my money's just walking in all that one. It's a lot of pressure right now because there's, there's people here. <laughs> Let's go, man. How are you? Good, good, good. That's who beat me last What's up, Mario? Nah, I'll get Jordan in this league. Oh, Eric, bro. Tomorrow. All right. 500, I see. One, two, three, four, five. Stop it. Uh-uh. That's going to come to last. Oh, my God. Going outside. It's the pressure, bro. It's too many people. There you go. Oh, my bad. I really didn't. YouTube, we are back. Crazy night last night. Not gonna lie, I'm a little cookie drunk. Had way too many chocolate chip cookies. I woke up, brushed my teeth, came to work. As you can see, this is how the draft ended up. It was a fun time. Shouts to everyone for entering. Shouts to everyone for paying on time, indulging in cookies, pizza, and a little beverage. You know, I really thought I had a good team, but I'm currently projected to finish in last place. They are telling everyone I'm gonna go one in 13. That's crazy. Jake on his first fantasy draft is the number one projected team, which is also crazy. Shouts to him on a good draft. We got a lot of good teams in here. The projections don't mean much once the season starts. Obviously, a lot of teams and a lot of players do a lot better than they're supposed to do. I know I drafted a kicker that's on IR, so that was a big mistake. Uh, so I got to pick up a new kicker. A lot of curveball picks. According to the projection, me picking Brock Bowers was, was a crazy reach, even though there were like not a lot of good tight ends left. A lot of teams took two QBs, which left me with Aaron Rodgers as my lone QB. So, you know, hopefully his knees are promising because if not, I'm gonna have to pick up someone off the waiver wire. But it's a very exciting year. Last year, the winner turned $100 into a pair of yellow Grateful Dead SBs. So we're hoping this year something crazy happens as well. Whether it's winner take all or the Super Bowl decides to split. Either way, it's gonna be a fun, great year. But we can't forget about the orders. Shouts to everyone for placing orders with us last night and today. Let's talk about them. We got a Midnight Navy 4 used. I feel like that shoe sells better for us used than new, which makes sense because a lot of shoes sell better for us used than new because just cheaper pricing and we try to curate good condition used shoes, right? A lot of people say they don't want to wear used shoes, but if you know they're in really good condition and you can save 100 bucks, 150 bucks, why not? Speaking of used and new, we got three great new pairs. Fire Red 5, love that shoe. Had a pair of 99s back in college. It's just a great shoe right there. I was not in college in 99 but i had a pair from 99 in college just to clarify that was always awesome dmp gratitude 11s and classic bread 11s all three of those brand new we go to the next row some used batch right there the vapor maxes are actually super rare especially brand new they're super pricey we got two foam posits i always got to talk about the fighter jets because if you were around sinkers during that time it was a time man i was outside for hours waiting for that shoe i would pay my friends to come with me for raffle tickets for that shoe to wait in line for that that shoe it was that type of uh, vibe and shoe back then and it's funny because strictly off of nostalgia I've been looking for that shoe in 11 and a half or 12 for a good price and good condition and they're pretty hard to find nowadays or 
Euro 5s, that pair was a 99 cent auction. I have to shout out everyone who has been actually participating in 99 cent auctions and paying in 99 cent auctions. You know, eBay, sadly, a lot of people bid for no reason and uh, nothing really happens. But thankfully, a lot of people have been bidding for a reason lately and uh, paying on time. So we're going to get those out ASAP. Got the Field Purple 12s. Great shoe, if you ask me. Very reminiscent of a Mike Bibby Kings Sacramento PE. So great shoe right there. We got the 97s. We got the North Face Vortex pants. We got a Pacheco jersey. Shouts to Jake for snacking Pacheco what I think was a steal in the third round. He's definitely a uh, second slash third rounder so I think he got very good value on that pick. But we're getting very good value on these jerseys because they're going out daily, weekly, literally closing in on probably 100 jersey sales which is incredible. And we got the Watt going out size 3XL. And that's about it. There might be a couple more things to whoa, whoa, whoa. We got these Salomons which oh, might as well look at. What are these called? The Stars and Stripes or something? Something different honestly didn't even know we had them had to go to the warehouse to find them they are brand new so we will add them to the pick Berwin Jake anything for the people about the orders or anything else yeah nice little batch of orders going out the white cement four is obviously one of many 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 classics that are re-releasing again I mean next year you know or even this holiday season into next year just looks absolutely stacked are those midnight navies yeah, yeah. Navy. yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, my angle is really bad over here midnight navies are not going out again but that is a good shoe nonetheless definitely reminiscent of a white Cement 4. That being said, White Cement 4s are coming out again. Uh, what, this year or next year? Next year. Next year. But yeah, next year is looking absolutely stacked. I'm sure we'll get into it as the year goes on. All the different shoes that are coming out again. Yesterday, within a couple hours, it was announced that 85 Chicago's were coming out again, and then that was debunked. So no one really knows what's going on, but Nike is, seems to be like they're pulling out all the stops in terms of trying to pull out all the, the heat from the vault. So I'm sure we'll talk more about that as we go. Definitely shout out to the people paying for their 99 cent auction purchases ebay auctions are definitely not what they used to be uh, you know that was what ebay was known for but i will say ebay they it seems that they're cracking down on people with cancellations but people not paying for auctions is and it seems like it will always be a problem so shout out to the people who actually pay because it's very easy to not pay and not have any consequences so and then more importantly definitely had a good draft uh, i don't know i didn't really have much research going on or anything i didn't really try to overthink it. I was very happy to pick up Pacheco because I was one of the first people, I think Burn grabbed a Pacheco jersey as well, one of the first people to pick up a jersey from A when he grabbed the first batch of those. And so I nice to actually be able to wear that and support someone who's on my fantasy team. I mean, yeah, I, I had an A plus rating on my team. And obviously I know like the projections aren't very accurate because obviously one, one injury to one of your uh, starters can really throw you off balance, but definitely makes me a lot more excited for the season. A lot of great guys that I met last night. It was a good experience to be able to draft in person last night in the store so looking forward to a great season hopefully i don't uh come back to this at the end of the season and say why was i so confident but uh, we'll take it one week at a time and we'll see what happens i think i faced ham week one so we'll see what happens there ham was very confident about his team so yeah shout out to everyone who's been buying off the ebay happy friday to everyone out there the fire at five great classic sneaker i feel like that's a five that will sell randomly new and also in store some people might ask um if we carry one in their size so always glad to see that one go out and i believe a couple classic five as well as a couple eights um, next year will be re-releasing one of them being the grape five so maybe they come back with like a slimmer um, original uh, classic look but nonetheless shout out to ever bought the fire red speaking about classics the breads um, as well as the gratitudes the bread 11s always love seeing that shoe uh, brand new because it just looks so luxurious especially with that patent leather great shoe to look at it's a classic shoe that MJ wore so always great to see a Diaz bread go out speaking about great things to see 99 cent auctions are live guys so if you you guys see any auctions on the ebay make sure to participate if you like the shoe solomon's random sneaker with this batch but i love all the variety that we carry especially when it comes to solomon's and the north face pants perfect time to buy those especially with fall and winter coming out for like all the north face gore-tex collection anything from back then and now is just really fire so again shout out to everyone who's been buying off the ebay hoping for a great friday a lot of work to do today let's pack up all this stuff and see what happens it's a heineken's it's crazy oh yeah which one was campus um, yeah, I chose the wrong reason. Yeah. Yeah, girl, man. Yeah. One reason I'm moving to sell those, I just brought some more black products. Mm. American cops? Huh? American cops? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jones. 
Man, New Orleans is different, bro. I'm trying to go back out there, man. Hey, I, I owe you this summer, though, because I went to Vegas in June. Ooh. I went to New Orleans in July. You tell me it's a price of summer, man. Let's recap. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Because I'm like, damn, yo, where you going to go? It's like this. I'm like, I right, bet. Usually I'm like, ah, oh, these niggas about to come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much you say you want it? Like three fifty. Three fifty, I'll take four. Meet you in the middle. Three seventy five. Three seventy five. Three seventy five. You got me last time. Nah, you, you got, got me last time. No, no you, got you got me got last me. time with the uh with the kid stuff. Nah, you nah. Yeah. Nah. You got me last time. Nah. You got me last. You know you got me last time. Nah. That was my girl's shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. Nah. You had stuff with that though. Yeah. You got me last time. I was supposed to get more. He's like, nah, I can't because the sizes. We st and we still got them. We still got them. You saying five? We in the middle. In the middle. You know, you about to take another vacation be before nah, the. Nah, I ain't gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm gonna need it. Yeah, 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 you know right, what I'm saying? Gotta get one more vacation before it gets cold. Let me just get that four, you feel me? So I can put that to my vacation stuff. <laughs> 375, 375. I'll do 380. I'll do 380. Uh, you need cash, right? Uh, I bet you want to guys? Didn't see me this morning. Came a little late, but bought some stuff today. This deal was on camera. This deal wasn't. So, right here, we have some UNC 3s, some Michigan 5s. This one is pretty interesting just because, like, they're nothing crazy, but. Just haven't seen this shoe in so long. So to finally have it in store, it's pretty dope. Just something different to add on to the wall. It's a pair that you don't see every day. Cool colorway here. Not too easy. 500s, nothing crazy. We got some smoke black hats. Excuse me, I always call these black hats. Smoke Capic Gallon 11s. So as you see, we have two here. So what we're doing is we're switching the box from a brand new pair we have with no box. And we're gonna give it the box because I think it'll sell better. A lot of times people aren't really that reluctant to buy a shoe without a box. So, you know, we're gonna give it a box, stuff like that. Over here, we got some Really good stuff, some bangers, some heater. Shout out to Brent for switching the laces on the Travis Scotts. Really appreciate that. So over there, we're gonna start there. Size 12, British khaki, Jordan 6. Funny, we were supposed to do a recap yesterday, but it got a little busy and kind of forgot. Shout out to this dude, Brian. He sold us the olive pair yesterday. Tried to bring those back. Got some Futura SBs, really, really dope. Size 12, really good size. Brand new Union 4 off Noirs, really dope. And cactus man or jump man, cactus something. Really dope shoe hair, isolations, all that. So I'm getting stuff fucked up and put it on the eBay. YouTube, we're back. I'm a little busy today. We just had a nice little buyout slash trade go down. We had a pair of Sean Witherspoons as well as a pair of SB4s, two grail pairs for a lot of people. We just had a big trade go down. It was all this stuff for those two pairs and we added just a little bit of cash. So let's see what we got. First off, we have the bread for golf. This is an interesting one. Uh, retail was high on these and I know a lot of collectors out there figured that this pair would go up in value, me being one of them, but honestly they haven't, but it is a good pair for us to have in stock because there's a lot of golfers around here. One thing about golfers, man, is I think they got money. Uh, we got a pine green or a green toe low right there. That's a brand new size 12. This is an interesting one that you don't see too often. The Baruch Brown Travis Scott Air Max one. Pretty cool pair. See these often. We got the bread for reimagines and then we got the classic white cement reimagines. This one's a size 12 and a half, which we already have on the eBay store. Feel free to make an offer. This one's a size 12, which you probably already have in stock as well. Feel free to make an offer. Next up, we go back to the golf shoes. Shadow Low. Very good quality on this one. These are not golf spikes like the Bread 4. If you guys didn't know, check out the differences here. Obviously, the Bread 4 is a little more hard to wear if you want to go to work or you want to go to dinner. That Shadow, though, I'm pretty sure you could pretty much wear those like wherever you want to go because it's not really that spike. It's more of like a turf golf shoe. If you guys are golfers out there, please drop the correct terminology on the differences. Next up, we have an LD Waffle Undercover. Terrible shoe for us, honestly, but we got it for a good value. That's the black, yellow, and white colorway in a size 12. Back to terrible shoes, but good value. Undefeated Air Force One. I'm a big Air Force One guy, but those are not it. But uh, quality is good, and we'll be able to sell them for probably less than retail price or around retail price, which is always good. This is one that uh, I feel like a lot of people thought would raise in 
value as well. That and the bread toe one low. This is the reverse bread one low, size 12. Another one that's going for like retail or less. Speaking of that, UNC toe one. I like that shoe a lot. I think it's very nice. Obviously, you guys know what happened with the one market. So because of that, a lot of these great colorways with great quality are going for great prices. So grab them while you can because this is definitely a shoe that I feel like in a couple years might be a little more sought after than it is now. Last but uh, not least, we have a used pair. I think this is the only used pair in the batch, if I'm correct. But it's a good pair for us using. What did I say earlier? I said the Midnight Navy Force sells better for us using mm -hmm. new. We literally got another used pair in right there. Midnight Navy Force size 12. Good colorway. I feel like they don't make a lot of good navy colorways. You know, this is a good one. Reminiscent, obviously, of a white cement four with a little navy hint there. So if you're a Yankee fan or you just wear a lot of navy, that's a good pair. But yeah, we valued all this stuff at around $1,650. Shouts to Frank for coming through and making a big deal with us. We greatly appreciate the support. And let's see what else happens today. You got a couple more All right, bet. Oh man. Are you right here? Uh, you put them there. Did you have a price for all this stuff? Um, let's see. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now. The I'll tell you was I did haven't won. These are like I haven't won these. I haven't won the uh, the fears, the threes. Mhm. Mm uh, these new bounces I haven't won. Which new bounces? The. Right here. These are worn. These are worn? Uh -huh. Yeah, you can double check them, but I'm pretty certain. They're worn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah and I'm gonna say those are the only ones that have worn. So you said, you said the babe? Yeah. And which the, one? The threes, right here. Threes, okay. Um, I think I think these might not be worn. I'm not no, sure. these are used. Yeah, those are used okay. too, yeah. yeah. I went through this part right just seen okay. the condition on them. Those came in like a bag when I when I ordered them. They didn't come in the box. Alright. And you have the price of mine for all this stuff. <laughs> price of mine. I don't know, I was gonna say like probably like those probably like maybe like one like a hundred. This one's tough. I don't think this one is gonna pass as new. Nah. I don't think so. Just looking at the bottom, we we do a lot on eBay. Yeah. So. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Just looking at the bottoms of them. Yeah. I don't think this is gonna pass as new. I could treat them as shoes. Um. But again, it's up to you. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you want to keep them in a in a batch of stuff still, or if you want to put them to the side. Whichever you want to want to do is nah, cool. I, honestly, whatever you whatever you would like to take, and then you give me a price on them, and then we we'll just work out that. Oh uh, yeah, uh, like I, said, I mean, I'll t honestly, like again, we'll, we take them almost anything. Yeah. So, yeah, and I know sometimes when I tell people that their shoe is used when they think it's new, yeah. it kind of turns them away, and like sometimes they want to keep it because obviously they were expecting more than what they were going to get offered. Yeah. Um, but let me see. Yeah, this is another one of those weird ones where I don't know if it'll pass. As new, okay. it's definitely tried on for sure. Yeah. I'll put this one to the side for now. Are you guys buying like jackets too? Or? What kind of jacket? I got this, this Seattle uh, starters. How much? Um, 50. Mm -hmm. I got this one too. Oh, that's cool. How much you want for that one? I like same price maybe. I mean, I don't know how much you guys are gonna sell it. I don't know. Like, I would say like next time you, you know you come up here, we can we can check it out for sure. I have it in my car. Oh yeah, yeah then. You bring it to yeah, you get, yeah. Oh, just okay. bring just br um bring the jacket so I can see it. Yeah, whatever you have, honestly, since you're here, just you just bring it.
I didn't bring the um the Seattle one. Uh huh. I forgot that one. That's so I cool. Got, I got this one. Oh. I don't know if you guys can take this one though. It's a Nike tag. This one I'll probably hold off on. Right, cool. I think you gotta buy your shorts though. Shorts? Yeah. Uh, not right now. Just cause the season's changing. Yeah. These two, I'll probably hold off on. Possibly everything else I'd be interested in, depending on the price. But I'll do that stuff last. You guys record it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are you guys from? We are coming from Bridgewater. Oh shit, that's by me. For real? Yeah, I'm, I'm in Boundbrook. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's my girl there, right there. Yeah, literally. I, I've been there for a couple months, though. But nice. it's, it's, it's cool out there. I graduated. 2019 so like i graduated right before covid and shit like that but you know they they built it up though like this like what do you want for the clothing like the jack another oh, jacket you said like 50. probably said like maybe like 20 on the tees 20 on the tees uh, jaggies maybe like you can do like 40 if anything nike 50 that one break here oh so just give me a number now I was thinking like 40 on the Jaggies. Yeah, I believe. So these I pass on. My leaps. Probably pass on these two and probably pass on these three. So with everything, I'm at five. 500? Yeah, I'm at five. Too? Yeah, with the clothes. I'm at 500 for everything. Yeah, what, were you, what was your number you kind of thinking? Because. I had this one dude from Piscataway. He said he was around like 600. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like trying to see the numbers and stuff like that. You know, yeah. Did we get the honest number? Yeah, yeah. I throwing you some. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? Nah, for sure. Yeah, so I was gonna actually bounce to connect too, and see what they give me, or see what, what type of numbers they'll do. Yeah, you could, you could do that too. Um, I do know we close in like a we half an hour. Yeah, yeah. So I do. I will say like by the time you go there and come back, I probably won't come back. You know, I'm, like if. If I'm just. Is bad, I'll pop up another day. I, well, that's gonna be my next thing. I was gonna say like my offer is valid right now. Well, you know what I'm saying? If you leave today, you come back another day. My offer could change yeah. just again with the market and stuff like that. Uh, but my offer is valid right now. I will take all this stuff at five. Remember, like I think you had every all this included too. So uh, I feel like we're not that far apart because we're missing three shoes right now, plus the two jackets or the jacket and two t-shirts. So. Again, I feel like we're not that far, but again, if you want to go shop around, like I'll definitely like do that if I, if I was you, if you're looking for like a little bit more, um, I will say just, you know, we usually, like we, like we tell people, if you don't like the offer here, you want to go next door. You're and, passing on these, right? Uh, yeah, I'm passing on those. Like where in Piscata did you go? Or it was just like a regular person? Um, you know, let's just do it. Yeah, again, like. I, took out three shoes, you still got five. Yeah, you might as well just do it. Maybe he could take part of these if you want. Yeah, like I said, it's up to you. Like I said, like it, whatever you want to do. And then just to, to remind you, like, I think you had these as new too, and you had these as new too, which probably like when you were adding your numbers to that kind of, you got to like add that into account because probably these new, I probably would have done like around like the hundred for it. Probably, probably would have put us at 550. And then I think you thought these were new. So I think we're probably still in the same ballpark with three shoes missing and these being considered used i think we're not that far apart but again if you want to go shop around you want to do that all right uh what's the best way for you Venmo, zell yeah we got zell it is 6 40. wrapping up here just did probably the last buy of the day a bought some stuff too he bought two reimagined threes unc two and a reimagined bread four i bought a bunch of stuff i'll go over it real fast it's already right here and figure talk about it real fast I've seen this before dope piece starter starter brand i like to say because you know it's no team when he showed me this at first i thought it was the suns but this is hard bro it's kind of plain on copying it I'm telling Berwin to cop it. Got another jacket right here. This one is crazy. 
I won't be surprised if Berman tries this on. Got a Nike, Tech, Sherpa, Medium, Harley T, Marvin the Martian, pair you don't see every day. I used to want the silver pair so bad back in the day. Um, I guess AODs, Jeremy Scott's, these are dope, you know, you know, classic pair right here. This is the newer version. Some pennies, some VNDS Fair 3s, some more Yeezy, some more Dunks, nothing crazy, but nice way to end the day. A lot of buying going on, a lot of selling. Shout out to the dude who bought the Midnight Navy 4s. So I was over there with A, he went to pay cash, and he left. I looked at A, I said, he ain't coming back. He proved me wrong, I don't know why. Happy about it, but he proved me wrong. Paid, shout out to him, shout out to the dude who traded for the SB4s and the 12 and a half. The uh, strong weather spoons in the 13. More stuff over there. We got a uh, cap and gown. We got two University Blue Force and Michigan Fives I spoke about earlier. Yeah, a lot of nice stuff. Not much to say. The market tomorrow definitely didn't get as much work done today as I wanted to because I was working on drafts all day, but that's okay. It is what it is. And yeah, hopefully we have a good day tomorrow. It's supposed to be cloudy. Also, shout out to the dude coming from West Virginia tomorrow. So supposedly he has 50 pairs. It's going to be a crazy way to start the day if he really pulls through, but he is trading for something. So, not to make this one and done. Was that the first person to make the one and done? I made it last week. No, I, I made it. But I don't, I, mean, know if I, I don't know if you were first, I don't know. Just know, Jake's ducking at Smoke. It's been like almost three weeks now. Belt's just like, or the Phantom Belt is like heading somewhere. Jake leaving early. Jake's like, oh, nah, it's a little too late. A lot of excuses from Jake, so spam Jake put the belt on the line. So I can finally get the belt back again, just saying, you know, that's it, you know? One and done. Catch you guys tomorrow. Oh. Call my shot, man, call my shot. Man. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? Today is August the 31st. It is Saturday, last day of the month. Literally, I need batch going out. Probably the smallest batch of stuff we have going out in quite some time. But A is at the uh, flea market. It's been a couple of weeks since he's been at the flea market. So hopefully he comes back with more jerseys. But I think he's going to find some really good stuff after not being there for a couple of weeks. So off here, we have these Cortez Sakai collab with a Forrest Gump colorway. Not really a big fan of these. I do like what Sakai does, but this is one of those shoes or collaborations where like I'm not really seeing it. It. Shout out to the person who bought it because you know, that's a crazy wild sneaker. Right here, we have, I'm gonna say a classic. A lot of people may think otherwise. I will pay respect to the LeBron 10s. You have to pay respect to the LeBron 10s if you grew up in that era of sneakers, Nike basketball. You know, that was the prime time of, you know, Nike basketball stuff because with everything they had going on with the Kobe's, KD's, all these other stuff, Hyperdunks, probably undeniably the best shoe there. It's a shoe that sold out the, uh, the most and the best. It had the best colorways or some of the best colorways. I think the KD4s were the best on that time, but the LeBron LeBron stuff was some of the hottest stuff in a while. This is the Miami Dolphin colorway. This shoe just reminds me of so many things. One, my brother-in-law is a Dolphins fan. I believe he had these as well. This was a cool, cool shoe. Seeing these on court was different. I know Berman talked about it yesterday in like a TikTok, but the back was swoosh. Really thinking about it, it's like LeBron did it too, but at the time we didn't really think about it. And this is my first time really seeing or noticing the backwards swoosh on the LeBron 10 model. The LeBron stuff doesn't go for much, especially the older stuff, but classic, classic shoe right here. We have a size 12 and a half, George Town one. I'm gonna be honest. This guy took like three days to pay. Didn't think he was gonna buy these, but again, really good shoe here. This is the 85 version. You guys know next year they're doing a couple 85 versions with the UNC Reds. They were supposed to do the Chicago's and they canceled Chicago. So interesting to see what else they're gonna bring back. Don't shoot yourself, classical burst. Giants jersey going out. If you're a Giants fan, you probably consider him a GOAT, a legend. You know, he helped the throne, the undefeated Patriots, that Super Bowl catch, game with a touchdown catch, I would say. So yeah, that's a size small. Two jerseys going out. We're under a week away. In the football season starting Chiefs play the Ravens of course gotta sell a Patrick Mahomes gotta buy a Patrick Mahomes honestly one of the GOATs you know top two quarterbacks of all time don't think he'll ever pass Brady in my opinion but super super good jersey another good jersey CJ Watt such a dog put some money on it for defense play of the year I haven't played it yet I'm gonna play it though I gotta see what the odds are at you know too many signs I've been hearing ESPN talk about him and stuff like that so definitely gonna put like $50 to $100 on him to win DOPY the Punisher it's a, a Dickies buying up one of the stuff that we had in the warehouse that a gave me to flick up. Shout out to that person. Shout out to everyone for something. Small, small batch, but let's hear from the guys. Small batch, but of course, shout out to all our buyers regardless. We appreciate it no matter how big or small the batch going out is. Not much to say here, but I will say Sakai's is definitely one of those creepy shoes. It's been on the wall next door for a very long time, and I, it was one of three shoes that A and I took down yesterday, and I brought it over here for, it was just no no reason at all. And I saw that they sold last night, and I, I literally texted A, and I asked him if he price dropped them because it was just one of those weird ones. 
he said no, and he, it, was, it was a little freaky that those those sold because it's such a random shoe to sell, especially when we haven't even like you know looked at it or anything for so long, and we took it down because we didn't think it was going to be a good seller on that side. So and yeah, nothing really else much for me. I mean, I hope hoping for a good day today. Weather's looking a little gray outside, but uh, definitely means that the sun probably won't be out. So that's a good thing. Of course, shout out to everyone who bought off the eBay small batch, but you know, a couple quality things. Starting with the 85s. Remember when that shoe first released? That was one of those hot ones that um, a lot of people gravitated towards and wanted to cop. People wanted to trade up for them left and right. Then as time went on, the hype for them kind of died as well as the hype for the one. So always a great thing to see those go out regardless. Speaking about hype and it dying out, the whole Sakai line, especially when they did the Cortezes, kind of set it down. Not too much hype on those, but I can't appreciate how they went a different route when they the Cortez, especially with the whole Sakai line. The LeBrons, like Jay said, very classic uh, sneaker right there. That model comes from the era of like cargo shorts and Sperry's and elite socks and that whole entire era of just LeBrons and Nike basketball was definitely a time. Shout out to ever bought that one. That's definitely a clean pair of LeBrons you don't normally see nowadays. Football jerseys, always love seeing those go out. Not sure how many sizes we have in any of the jerseys these days just because they sell left and right. So if we're looking for a specific jersey, um, definitely check our eBay out. And the Punisher shirt, it's super fire. I consider myself one of the nerds in the store just because I like Marvel and DC. So I'm really happy that they brought back the show or they're bringing back the show along with Daredevil. So shout out to any Marvel fans out there. Yeah, today's gonna be a crazy Saturday. I said it yesterday. Um, have a guy who's originally from New Jersey who lives in West Virginia now coming by today to trade for something size 14. Says he has about like 50 pairs of sneakers, no box, box. So he'll probably be here within like the next hour or so. So that should be interesting. I think today's gonna be a little crazy day, like I said. But college football is back full slate today. Super, super happy. My team plays at 3 30. Hopefully, you get the win. I have a bet in right now with Ralph and I fantasy league. He's a Florida Gators fan. I'm a Miami Hurricanes fan. It's double or nothing. If I if Miami loses, I have to wear a Florida Gators and an Eagles jersey. So I'm not trying to do that. Honestly, I really, really don't want to do that. So hopefully my team can get it done. Random nugget. Did you talk about hitting the tech challenge yesterday? No. no. Erwin hit the tech challenge yesterday. He's been talking about it lately. You guys been watching. He's been telling me about that shoe probably like the last at least the last year. You know, he's been talking about that shoe. Definitely. Not on the sneakers app though. Huh? Not on sneakers. Not on the sneakers app. Um, I feel like you haven't been hitting anything on the sneakers app, honestly. It's no. all been like the harder sides, like yeah. undefeated, which you hit on and stuff like that. I hit on a pair of Air Max 95s today that I was really, really stoked to to get. Air Max 95 Torontos. I don't know if those are going to hold any value, but the colorway is just super dope. It reminds me of a classic OG 95. But yeah, going to get this stuff flicked up and ready so when A gets here, we can ship it out. This is some um, no box. Okay. Is everything or they're more? Some old shit. <laughs> <laughs> some old ones. Some old dogs. Okay. Nice. It's a red pig, and that's the green pig. These shits. You just go black, you ain't gonna move shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I said nah, and I said cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna give them fight. <laughs> I feel that. I feel yeah, that. Right. Once you say it one time, that's it. Right. I ain't gonna ask again. Got a lot of stuff. Oh. I expect there's more at home. <laughs> Everyone's in a selling mood right now. Everyone's getting a lot, getting rid of a lot of this many. stuff. Yeah. Like, he, he, like you can put an outfit together. Mm -hmm. You have so many. It's hard. It's, you're, like, you're so indecisive. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's so hard. Like, yeah, I, I always say that too. It's just like, after like, for me, I, I think 20 is a lot. I usually try to stay around like 20 because like you said, like, once you get to a certain amount, and you have so many pairs, it's like, I don't want to wear it. Or like, these are my favorite. And then like, trying to figure out which ones you want to wear. It's like, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Like, going out there and you a and I'm like, good. <laughs> I gotta figure out if I wear I'm gonna get you the feet so Okay. Every color, every colorway is really cute. Like, <laughs> some shoes are comfortable, some shoes are not. And we okay. have a variety. Mm hmm. Not just, like you can see, he has pins in there. Yeah, question, because we had someone from West Virginia come here before too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know him. Oh, you know him, nice. Because <laughs> my, my next question is gonna be is like, I know West Virginia is like, like technically like the countryside, 
but like what you what you i was gonna say where you guys from how is it is it like countryside is it more like not city but like so it's not city mm -hmm. but how is it relevant where we live and i told him it's like rather than it's what as far as this shit no 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 just no, like just because like as far as west virginia so he's I, like i know i'm I, so I'm, I'm i'm always like interested in like like certain places yeah you know new Brunswick. yeah all right so, <laughs> it's a culture shock absolutely and i went from in the 90s i went from New Brunswick to Plainsboro. Uh, so I, I dealt with a culture shock in the early 90s, so it wasn't nothing, but this is something totally, totally different. different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so far, everything here is you so far. Did you have a number for everything, or you just. I did. Okay. I, did. I mean, I busted down um, just to just for you to ask me this question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but you tell me how you want to play it if you want to go down the whole list and, and something like this like probably like a like a bulk number it's probably like the easiest way okay. um you know i know you got like a lot of variety like you say you buy because of the shoe yeah. not the price and stuff like yeah. that um but yeah you, you have a lot of variety if you have a like a whole number yeah. as i'm going through i can see like you know where we're at how far we are and stuff like that so like when i'm counting my numbers i'm, I'm kind of keeping count i like, right, we gotcha. might be far off we might not be but i feel like we won't if anything be too far off i was always saying so like yeah. if you go back to the first first video you'll see like the way it's cut like it's the old setup yeah. and it's mostly a in the beginning because like the way the old shot was set up we had like a gopro we didn't really have a good camera and stuff like that we had like a small camera <laughs> nah <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo, the, the, the I, I'm like, that crazy ass Yeah, I mean that's an HBO Max. That's TV. Oh lord, that you bring that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like that. That's been like the new TV for like the last four years, just because like at the time, COVID. Yeah, everything oh, shut down. So I didn't total all that shit up. Yeah, that's I just cool. looked at it and I went through the regular platforms and I made sure because all my shit looked better than anything on eBay and on GOAT mm -hmm. and I looked at StockX and shit so everything is like under or at um the only ones that I was looking for something decent <clears throat> probably the Brads absolutely um, the, um Fearless okay yeah and the um Nike Jumbo Blazer the Blue High I think it's this one yep um, yeah. Other than that, everything is. I don't know. Maybe you should look at that and try to. Yeah. <laughs> so the three shoes you named to me are those three that you want to go and hear a price for? Yeah. Okay, we could do that. Yeah. We could for sure do that. They hear numbers about. Um, I did those first. I was at three fifty. I could tell you exactly where I was at. Okay. It was literally uh two 150 just based off what i seen um this one's selling for like around 170 used this one is like 100 because i know they're not on stock x but on gold last year it was 100 on them and they're, they're just blazers blazers don't really go for that much and then the breads i was at two on those um so i was at three i was at 350 there um i didn't finish this stuff yet but okay. Off these three, that's where I was at. Okay. What do the numbers look like for the rest of the shit? Uh, I still gotta go through it. Um, like I said, I gotta go through it, but. So we'll come back to that. Yeah, we'll, we could come. What's the number one at again? Three fifty. Like I said, right. we could come back to that yeah, yeah. if you like. I did those first because you said those are the ones you wanted to hear a number yeah, about. Sure. Everything else, like I said, I'm gonna run through real fast. Um, I went through every shoe as I was move them. I got a um idea what they look like and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, crunch some numbers and see what's going on. Oh, All right, good recall. brother, so. Stop asking me the same question. I can't recall. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do um, everything except for those three. Okay, what were you thinking on the three, just out of curiosity? Um, So the way I looked at it, to keep it all the way honest with yeah. you, I said bare minimum, what would 50 a shoe be? How many shoes is it? 43, I want to say? I'm, I know it's close. I know it's like at around 40 for sure, like at 40 or around 40. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I, I think I stopped at 40 yeah. because there was like shoe boxes on top of it. And I, was, yeah, I, know, yeah. I was too lazy to move the shoe boxes. Yeah, you know, but it's, it's around like 40 for sure. Okay. Um, so because the, the joints I was looking at for them jumbos was like minimum. I seen them on eBay 160 on like StockX for like two and some change. 
Okay. So that that's that's why I was. What did I? What did I have those at? I think I, I think had you had those at two. So. So. Oh, and you had them at fifty. So it was fifteen flat for everything. everything. It was eleven fifty without the three that you said. So can you do sixteen fifty and do How three? Doing? How you guys doing? Um. So what is that? That's uh, that's the that's with them three. So that's like an extra 150 for yeah. those three. I ain't wasting your time. No, nah, no, nah, you're good. You're good. Hey, I, I, I forgot. Who, I think I told someone yesterday, get, try to get as much as possible, man. That's, you know nah, what I'm saying? I ain't the best haggler. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to. I told y'all when I first came to see y'all, I hear y'all, I'm here to do business with you. I don't want to waste your time. You know what I mean? I can do four for those three. So 1550, I can do. 50, so you coming up 50? Yeah. All right. Nah, I'm going to hold you on those three. And, and just do the 1150? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, all right. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Leaving with essentially four shoes is better than going back home yeah, with like 40. Nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, I really do rock with y'all. And you take one trip. <laughs> one trip. Because it really was, bro, the whole shit was just about these. You know what I'm saying? And then Not I started pulling. And I'm saying to myself, like, you might as well, to, you yeah, know. I started pulling the thing, bro. You didn't want to pull my right. <laughs> That was after a 40 hour week. I got home Thursday and I just started pulling. Pull my that, 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 that's why I usually tell people it's like, you know, especially when you're coming from a, um, a long distance, yeah. it's always oh, easier just to yeah. bring the stuff. Just because, again, you know, a lot of times people tell us, like, you know, they have a lot of stuff where they try to describe it to us. I was like, yo, just, you know, you're coming a long way. I don't know the next time you'll be here. You don't know the next time you'll be here. You know, try to get as much done in one shot as you can and, you know, see what's up. Ooh, I'm back. Didn't see me today. Flea market was crazy today. In store was crazy today. Got a shout out Jordan Berwin, Jake, holding it down while I was gone. Did a lot of buying, a lot of selling, a lot of trading, a lot of back to school action, which is important. We love to see, obviously, the back to school rush in here of people buying stuff for back to school. Um, I think everyone kind of starts school next week. One thing I do have to talk about is we sold an awesome shoe. And as you can see on my feet, I got these tech challenges. I guess the new ones came out. I totally missed the drop. And don't give the day for that because I at least wanted to try to get them and I see they're going for some money but uh, we did sell these a seven and a half I guess what are these poison green Agassi tech challenge too so I feel like someone bought this because maybe they missed out on the new pair maybe they got the new pair and say hey you know I want to flex different I want to grab something crazy these are crazy what's funny is obviously these didn't really go for much back in the day but now of course it's just one of those things like if you can find someone to pay it they might pay it but uh, if you're out there and you have those tech challenges in any size not just my size but any size bring them by because we'll probably want to buy them make you an offer at least jake just finished a buyout next door jordan and burwin have been working on buyouts all day we always appreciate everyone bringing stuff by to sell especially on saturdays we know it's a busy day and we're glad uh, we can continue to provide you guys a place to buy sell and trade kicks and clothing what else just sold let's see let's see anything good obsidian jordan 4 size 10 and a half that's the one with no box the uh quilted joint but it's 603 i really wanted to get a horse game in pick game but i think uh everyone wants to go home i'd assume so we probably won't do that but uh we're working on a lot of content we have a lot of content lined up in the next couple weeks i know i was supposed to get a video out for tomorrow that i'll probably have to work on tonight because i had no time today but that's about that anything for the people jordan burrow and jake go for it Got to eric from west virginia as you can see behind me I said it earlier I said it yesterday 40 pairs burrow and i was inventorying and lacing all this stuff had another big buy today of like I think it was like 17 pairs or something like that a lot of wands some dunks some other stuff got a stussy bag yeah I'm tired honestly again I've been up early this morning so a lot of work got done a lot of work to get done um shout out to everyone who purchased something in store today shout out to everyone who purchased stuff online but specifically in store just because like as I'm looking through going through the um the sold listing I'm seeing a lot of stars which means stuff that's sold in store so I'm seeing a lot a lot of stuff so again shout out to everyone back to school shopping is full effect shout out to all the kids who start school now, Next week, at least up here in this area. I know a lot of kids start school next week, so shout out to all the kids. Hope all the kids do well this semester. Hope all the kids get fly, get a nice pair of shoes before school year starts, because I know when I was a kid, that's my favorite part about going back to school, honestly. I wasn't even going back to school and seeing my friends. It was just getting a fresh pair of shoes, fresh pair of J's, more than likely. So shout out to y'all, and Miami's winning. Bro, and point to the TV. Ralph, if you're watching this, you don't need to watch it because I'll send it to you. It's an ass whooping. Anyone from Florida who's watching this, who's a, a Gators fan, Florida sucks. If you're a Florida State fan, they suck too. So yeah, I know, putting that out there. Best team in the state, Miami. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Was it supposed to be that bad? Uh, I think the spread was two and a half. 
Oh man, that's rough. Super busy today, guys. I was definitely thinking about like, there wasn't a lot of back to school shopping happening. And then I remember that like everyone just does it last minute. So today was definitely very busy. Jordan and Burren did a couple huge buyouts here. A did a clothing buyout next door. I just finished buying, I think 24, 25 pairs. A lot, a lot of buying today and very busy in both stores, which is always nice. I feel like sometimes it's a little one-sided, but very busy in both stores. So we appreciate everyone who is uh, shopping online and shopping in store. Currently 6.07, I think for the past two hours, I've just been lacing over 40 pairs of sneakers while Jay has been inventorying them. So if you haven't already, check out the eBay store. I know some of you guys are still back to school shopping out there. You know, we still got deals online and in store, but I really want to shout out the kids, man. Just all the kids that have been coming in here like talking to their parents just how amazed they are at the sneaker that they're getting and like i think the best part of the day is like when the kid comes in finds something they're either looking for or exactly looking for you know of course moms and dads the ones a pain but at the end of the day it's for the kids so again hope all the kids out there have a great school year hope they stay fresh and stay fly and i know that our shoes are going to be laid out the day before school starts like i don't know if you guys have ever seen that meme if i if i find that meme i'll put it on i'm not gonna lie i was one of those kids so <laughs> again hope everyone there has a great school year regardless if you go to elementary, high school, middle school, college. Hope everyone has a great school year. If you still need to get fly throughout the year, you guys know where to go. Topshowcase.com, 344-346, Bullfield at Caldwell, New Jersey. Very busy weekend. Looking forward to NFL kicking off. One and done. See you guys on Tuesday.